What is the difference between forward compatibility and backward compatibility? In this video, we will try to understand that. Forward compatibility is a feature that ensures a system, software, hardware, product or technology will interoperate with the future version of itself. For example, programming languages like HTML read tags and then display the document in the web browser as per the tags. Now, in a future version of the programming language, there may be new tags. So, if we want forward compatibility, then the older version of the programming language should read new tags that it does not understand and ignore them instead of throwing errors. Backward compatibility, on the other hand, is a feature that ensures a system, software, hardware, product or technology will interoperate with an older version of itself. For example, let's say there is a compiler for a programming language. Now, a newer version of the compiler has been released. At this point, if the compiler is backward compatible, then the newer version of the compiler will accept programs that were written for the older version of the compiler. In other words, if we take an old program that was written for the older version of the compiler and compiles it with the newer version of the compiler, the old program will get compiled properly on the newer version of the compiler if the newer version of the compiler is backward compatible. So, to summarize, forward compatibility is a feature that ensures a system, software, hardware, product or technology will interoperate with the future version of itself. And backward compatibility is a feature that ensures a system, software, hardware, product or technology will interoperate with an older version of itself. The older version of a system, software, hardware, product or technology can be forward compatible with the newer version of itself. And the newer version of the system, software, hardware, product or technology can be backward compatible with the older version of itself. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.